lowering the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores! And uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. I mean, they're a really talented football team. I think everybody knows that. Four wide receivers. Pressure steps up. Marshall wants to run again. Cuts down the middle of the field. All alone. Touchdown, Warriors! What a cut. You are looking live at Gross Point North Gymnasium in Gross Point, Michigan, where a rivalry is about to unravel between these two schools. Gross Point South on the road at Gross Point North. Glad to have you on the opener of Full Court Prep. My name is Chad Bush alongside Mac Horvath. And uh, thanks so much for joining us on opening night in Gross Point. Now then, South, the reigning district champion from a year ago on the road, probably favored Mac to take on a North team that lost a couple scores from a year ago. Uh, but in a rivalry game, what does it mean, especially at the high school level, to play this game? It's played kind of early for a rivalry game, number one. Anything could happen there. But what's it like as a rivalry between these two schools, and what do you think the impact of it will be tonight? Well, if you're North, I mean, you've lost four out of the last five here to South. You get them one time this year, and you get them in your own gym. So. Uh, a lot of things are working in North's favor. The crowd's already showing out for North. So you want to start fast if you're North. You know, don't want to play too many too many emotions and making dumb mistakes early on, but you want to come out fired up, ready to go, and not throw a hot start. Self led by Steve Bernard into this gym. He's had his way against North in the past. It's been a very solid program, uh, top 10, top 15 program since uh, the last few seasons. Uh, do they bring back, bring back that same kind of thunder from a year ago? Well, you know, they still got... Carter Richards here, the Lake State commit. He's an all-around versatile player, super high IQ, can play from the outside, can play from the inside. And then quietly adding Torrey James Jr., one of the best shooters that we're going to see this season. So that's a good, nice little punch to have. When you look on the other side, the home team, Gross Point North, trying to pull a bit of an upset. Uh, they played one game, and they knocked off Sterling Heights Stevenson in overtime in that game. What have you learned about the Norsemen uh, with just one contest already this year? Well, they got one regular season game, but season two here for Coach Rob Johnson. He got the entire summer with this squad. He's coached a lot of the guys because he had JV before this here at North. So a lot of these guys he's had for the third year. You know, you're thinking Leo Peretti, the guard that they look to lead him tonight. He led him uh, in points the other night. And then Rocco Cardinale, the Wayne State baseball commit, another big factor for North. Inside a community like Gross Point, this is a rivalry that exists in, in all sports. Uh, Basketball-wise, it's a different kind of energy tonight. The kids are in themes. Uh, they matched themes, discussed the, which themes they're going to have. Uh, this is a, a different kind of vibe tonight in Gross Point. We got the Grinch versus Santa Claus tonight in the stands. <laughs> Santa's there, you see on the screen. Norse got Grinch and green hats on the other side. Uh, you know, this is a game these kids will remember for a long time. And they'll be talking a lot of trash for a long time about it, too, so they better bring it tonight. A lot of fun to be had in Gross Point. Glad you're with us. We're coming back with head coach Steve Bernard at Gross Point South. Max Keys to victory. Much, much more on full court prep. Glad you're with us. Thanks for being with us along all season as we start tonight in Gross Point. Thanks for hanging. Lowering the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores! Welcome inside Gross Point North High School as we get set for South at North. The rivalry continues. We talk to the head coach of South in his fifth year, Steve Bernard. Steve, thanks so much for uh, getting us here tonight and, and talk about your team's journey this season. Where you're at, one and one right now. Take us through this uh, program in its current state. Well, we're definitely happy you're here. You know, I think it's great for the program, great for the kids, great for the community to have you out. Uh, we're one on one right now. You know, it's uh, we've been playing hard and battling, hitting the open man, playing together as a team. And this early in the season, that's really all you can ask for. There's still a lot of stuff to work out, <laughs> a 
a lot of sure. film. I like how our schedule's set up. We've had some days off in between our games, which has been good. We've been able to show some film and work on some things, and that's going to continue up until all the way till the 22nd so of December when we play U of D. So we're, we're excited about the way our schedule's set up and excited about the game tonight. The Blue Devils won their first district title in 30 years last year. Yep. Under your guidance, had to feel good to get one. You don't play in a soft district. Uh, it's always a challenge, I know to get a title anywhere, but mm -hmm. especially where you've had to play your districts and yes, to feel good to bring it home to South. Yeah. You know, winning's hard. You know, anyone, let, you know, basketball is one of those sports. A lot of people sit in the stands and, you know, think they can coach. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot that goes into it. And uh, especially if you're trying to build a program as opposed to just assembling teams, you know, we really feel like we have a program here now in our fifth year. And, you know, Anthony's senior year and the team we had last year. We had a lot of really good seniors last year that were, you know, leaders and, you know, went through the program, you know, played freshman, played JV, and, you know, it all just came together and, you know, ended up playing the regional final game against Eel Sal and up seven at halftime, and it was just, just a really good game. Obviously, they're a very, very tough opponent, okay. and, uh, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't come away with the W in the regional finals, but we gave LaSalle everything they could handle in that day. So a new team now. Anthony's gone and moves on. And, and look, uh, Alex English also was a big part of that, mm -hmm. Nate Sires. This year, you've got a good guy to lead your team back. Oh, yeah. Carter yeah. Richards. Uh, has he been everything you'd expect so far in the leader and the front man for your crew this year? Yeah, see, I mean, he's an exceptional vocal leader. I mean, he, uh, I mean, he brings the enthusiasm to practice every day, to the off season, to anything we're doing. He's just a leader. And... Uh, you know he's had he's had this great development over three years you know his games kind of evolved from a freshman to a senior you know he first came in the first couple of years he was just three-point shooter and now you know now threes we'd like him to shoot him more threes right now he's getting to the paint a lot and getting to the free throw line uh but you know it, it you know makes me a better coach that's for sure <laughs> You also have a new fella on your club, Tory James Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about Tory, his addition, and what he's meant to your program. Well, he's been, you know, moved into the district, and he's a junior, about six foot, six foot one. He's a one or a two kind of combo guard. He can stroke it, and uh, you know, he's been he's been great for the team. He fits in well. You know, he he passes the ball, he shares the ball. You know, he likes to defend. We're teaching them some things on defense that. Uh, you know, come from a different program, they had a different philosophy on defense. So our defense is, you know, real intricate to our success. So it's a little bit of a learning curve there, but he's one heck of a player. I mean, he can he can handle it. He's tough. He can. He's got one of the best strokes in Michigan. When you see it, he's one of those kids that when he catches it, he, you know, he doesn't drop the ball lower than his chest, you know, and get a shot off. And uh, you know, just happy to have him. Tonight it's North, your rival, Gross Point North, the Norsemen. You're in their gym. Um, you're four and one mm -hmm. all time against this club. Yep. Uh, what's it like in this rivalry? What have you learned? And uh, you've been a part of Gross Point Athletics for a long time. Um, what does it mean to the community to play in a game like this? Well, <laughs> community means everything. Whatever sport it is, it could be you know freshman baseball, and they're going after it. I mean, every level, every team. Every time you play them, I mean, the community comes out. Uh, you know, I think it's it's fallen off a little bit since COVID. I mean, right before COVID, I mean, we had this whole gym packed. I mean, I don't know what it would be like tonight, but, you know, it's still a big deal. Uh, you know, and we're just, we just want to keep up on our momentum. You know, we seem, to, we seem to play well. We love playing in this gym. This is a great basketball venue. North, they host a lot of districts here, a lot of regionals. Like, it's a great gym. And uh, hopefully play well tonight. What's the key to victory? Give us uh, one key on each side of the ball, if you would, please. Well, defensively, you know, we want to make it difficult for them. We're, you know, they've only played one game, so we want to figure out who they're going to get their points from. They lost two of their top scorers. Okay. So we're interested to see, you know, how they're going to run things. Uh, we've got them scouted, but it's only one game. So defensively, we seem to play our defense that we play, which is, you know, high-level communication, toughness, boxing out. And then the offensive end, we need to be we need to be clean. You know, we need to be clean on the offensive end. Which I mean by that is, you know, set good screens, make the extra pass, uh, take what the defense would gives you, and uh, you know, play an up tempo, under control style of play that we like to play.
Sounds like a great recipe for a victory. All the best tonight. Thanks for having us out, Steve. Really appreciate, appreciate it. You got it. All right, there he is, Steve yeah. Bernard, the head coach for Gross Point South, trying to get his team rocking and ready for their rival, Gross Point North. We'll have that for you and much, much more coming up right after this on Full Court Prep. Thanks for watching. Back after this. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs>
Hi folks, Dr. Joe here again with Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. Did you know that kids are not little adults when it comes to sports injuries? That's because of something called the growth plate. Growth plates exist all over the human body in our growing athletes. They're actually little cartilage discs that exist at the end of all the long bones. It's simply where a kid grows. The problem is that the growth plate can be the weak link. What might be a sprain, a strain, or a tear in an adult when they hurt themselves can actually be a growth plate fracture in a kid. So it's important if your kid has hurt themselves and they're not using their arm or they're not able to put weight on a leg, come see one of us, get an x-ray, and make sure it's not a growth plate fracture. For more information, go to miorthosurgeons.com. Oh yeah, ripping and roaring early in Gross Point, Michigan. Welcome back, we're the prep time to meet the starters for tonight. We'll start first with the road team, the Blue Devils from Gross Point South, just down the street. There you see it, Torrey James Jr., one of the guards. He's a transfer from West Bloomfield, one of the best shooters in the state, his, Steve, his coach Steve Bernard says. And you see Gordon Hudson Jr., and uh, he's there, he's one of the big guys, a glue guy. Vince Vashon, a returning guy, and uh, he's one of the guys that'll run point tonight. Played on varsity as a freshman. Nate Davey is a big man. His father went to Gross Point North. Nice backstory there. Played off the bench last year mainly, but he's a guy they really trust at 6'7 down low. Carter Richards is their top player. Carter Richards does it all. He's crafty, he's smooth, he's got great vision, three-point shooter, 90% from the free throw line, can beat you off the bounce in at three levels. He's the guy to watch, number 11 in blue for South. For the home team, Gross Point North, the Norsemen. They'll start with Leo Paretti. That's their best player, he's 5'11". He's a tough-nosed guard, a guy that can really score it. And for a team that lost their top two scores from a year ago, he'll be key tonight. Brady Beers, one of the best names in high school basketball in Michigan, is the starting center. He's 6'5", and he's a senior. Rocco Cardinal has a scholarship in baseball to Wayne State. He's one of their forwards. He's 6'3". Devin Head is one of the guards, and Head with two Ds, that's not a misprint, is uh, one of the three guards you'll see tonight. And uh, Reuben McBride Williams is a trusted six foot slash man that you'll see handling the rock, can also do a lot of the dirty work for head coach Rob Johnson in his second year, assisted by Eric Eplin and Dave Rickerman. South is coached by Steve Bernard in his fifth season. Bernard, the former 89 graduate of Romeo High School, and uh, the head coach Rob Johnson, a 2013 grad of Warren Cousineau. He's Mac Horvath, I'm Chad Bush. Mac, about to get it tipped up, get it roaring. Great to be with you this season. Yeah, real interesting to see here with the, as the tip goes to North to get things going. That's uh, Leo Paretti, who has it high on the left. Paretti will work against Carter Richards. Richards has the height advantage, no doubt. But Leo splits the defense and attacks the 10 and breaks the seal to nothing, Norseman. This is the transfer from West Bloomfield and a three-point shooter and the son of a former NFL 12-year player, Torrey James. He's not shy, steps into a long one, misses it. Peretti on the run, attacking 10 again, and he lays it in for nothing, Norseman. Back-to-back left-handed layups there by Peretti. Real tough finish there, could have got an and one. The long rebound leads to the break for North. Torrey James Jr. around the ring, now to Richards. His father's the varsity girls basketball coach, and he banks it in, laying good, and right away, we get a whistle and a warning, says Andrew Hayner. Carter Richards ripping that, going baseline, no help there, rejects the ball screen. Crafty play to land on two in the lane and finish. North in the lead, four to two, 6.48 to go. North working it around, Richards with a jab at it and uh, knocked away. It's a North offense, that, how would you describe it, Mac? They want to play four out, one in. They want to utilize the guard play on the outside. 
they got to make sure they recognize what defense South is in. South just showed a little one-two-two pressure. We know that Coach Bernard's going to mix up these Ds all night. Steve Bernard, tricky with those defenses. And there's a pick of the pocket on the run. Nate Davey, the 6'7 center, and he draws the foul and will attempt to tie the game line right just about uh, two minutes in. North went ball screen there, and they switched on Davey on the guard, thinking they got an advantage, and Davey picks his pocket. <laughs> Shows a little athleticism. Steve Bernard says he's, uh, he can get out there on the bounce. He's not afraid to do it. Good size, a lot of uh, guys that are being replaced this year for South, not as deep as a year ago. Anthony Bernard is gone, he's a Division I Mercer out of Macon, Georgia. Both free throws are missed, and insult to injury, a foul over the back, I think on Carter Richards. So Alex English, the guy that Nate Davies trying to replace, South, South showing that pressure right there again with the trap almost causing a turnover. Norris got to be able to handle this pressure. They catch uh, South napping here. Layup, no. Whistle and a foul. That's Reuben McBride Williams. And he's going to go line left to get some free throws. North attacking very quickly and aggressively. Twelve and eleven last year with the Norsemen, and the free throws off the mark for Reuben McBride Williams, guy who's one of their better defenders, and he'll have the assignment and the honor of guarding Mr. Richards tonight for South. That could be draining. Yeah, Coach Johnson said he wanted it, so he's going to get it. So free throws are split. 6-14 left, opening quarter. MHSAA basketball. Great to be back in the state of Michigan in Metro Detroit. Carter Richards drives baseline and gets whacked on the head by Reuben McBride Williams. Non-shooting foul, ball out of bounds, baseline right. You got to try to stay with in front of him here, which uh, McBride Williams is trying to do. But you can't get that cheap one. You're doing a great job. You're doing. A, you're forcing things to be tough, and then you get lazy and reach. Yeah. Zone here out of the baseline, out of bounds. Vince Vachon being harassed by Paretti. North aggressive defensively. They said they were going to be aggressive. Off the bounce. Tory James Jr. rolls it home. Paretti walked away from the help there. Now a steal in the backcourt by Davey. Ahead to Vashon, ahead to Torrey James Jr. No. Kept alive and saved by South. Freddie tried to push it with the pressure up the sideline. There we see the layup. Missed help side D. Easy finish for James. Deep three from Carter there. From the parking lot, no, Vashon resets. No shot clock in the state of Michigan, of course, yet. Vince Vashon to the rack, off the glass, and the living right roll is through. South with the lead. Great save by McBride Williams, but into the hands of South. Carter the other way, no, blocked. Back to Vashon for three, splash City. Vashon adding the deep three here. You're worried about Carter, you're worried about James and Vashon with a quick five. They like it, little press. Awkward layup by Rocco Cardinal, no good. Torrey James Jr. on the run. Carter, banker, no. Stick back, Davey. Foul line right. North right now having a lot of problems with this 1-2-2 two, two press. They're, they're just moving too fast. It goes on one side, it stays on that side. They're trying to throw it up the, up the wing. They got to reverse the ball and make things difficult for South. Sticky on the offensive glass too. Nate Davey hustling all over the place. His father, Mark Davey, played at North. So he's in Blue Devil Blue tonight. 
across the way. Free throws good. And uh, here comes R.J. Williams, and he's a big boy at 6'5", 275. Some nice beef to add off your bench. Ask Rob Johnson about uh, about Williams' game. He just said one word, massive. <laughs> 10 to one run for South after they trailed 4-0. 4-10 to go. Corner, Cardinal three, long. Richards with a rebound in the run out. Carter, dead spot right for three short. Missed a couple times from distance. About to see our first sub of the night for South. Ruben McBride Williams trying to find the big fella down low. Leo had it knocked out from behind by the savvy Richards. Into the game comes number 15, Connor Patty. Ever since the first four, nothing's come easy from North here. South's really played a good defensive first quarter besides maybe the first two possessions of the game. And the turnovers have killed him. Vashon snipes one ahead. Carter to the rack. Off the glass. Got it. And a foul. Great job finding Carter in transition here. Gets to the 10. Lands on two, which allows you to absorb the contact and finish through traffic as we see here. Awkward finish, love it. Long arms, guy that's a 90% free throw shooter. Five tool guy, he's headed to Lake Superior State. It's a division two school out of the GLIAC. It's hard to get a scholarship these days at any level. He got one and he deserves it. And uh, he gets the and one. And how about the run? 13 to one run now for South who leads it. There's another steal. Vashon to the corner. James for three. Splash City. Timeout coach Johnson. They entered the ball into the coffin corner. They call it the coffin for a reason. Because you are dead catching it that deep in the corner. Turnover, three point bucket here. The steal, the triple. And that forces the timeout. We're back to Gross Point. Just a moment for the prep. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 300,000 participants here in Michigan who take part in high school sports. Lowering the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores! And uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. I mean, they're a really talented football team. I think everybody knows that. Four wide receivers. Pressure steps up. Marshall wants to run again. Cuts down the middle of the field. All alone. Touchdown, Warriors. What a cut. Gross Point South opens the timeout with a steal. Mack looking back in the keys to victory. So far, who's living up to their uh, we talk, keys? We talked about South with the guard. Oh, great backdoor play. And the harm. Carter Richards. Backdoor variety. How about that two-man tandem? We talked about the guard play can win them games. Look at this dish. Playing kind of blind pig like they don't know what's going on. Great play <laughs> design right there. Great pass from James in the finish by Carter. We said guard play could win them games right now. Gross Point South has won the first quarter with guard play. There's three more quarters to go, but they're off to a great start here. I'll say five for Vashon, five for James, and now eight for Carter. Accounting for all the points except for one of them. Throw ahead, big boy laying good. That's R.J. Williams. And uh, look at him get back on defense. North with a much needed bucket, partner. Yes, definitely much needed bucket. Breaking the press there. Nobody back for South. The West Bloomfield transfer off the bounce, the blow by right hand laying by James Jr. Good. That's the third time we've seen them reject the screen on the wing, drive baseline. There's no help there. 
and it's easy finish. Jerome Jones is checked in. That's Rocco Cardinal with a bucket. Back-to-back -back layups on North, breaking the press. Interesting to see if South sticks with it. It's caused a lot of havoc so far tonight, but giving up back-to-back -back easy ones. This is the freshman that has checked in for South. And uh, keep an eye on him. It's Cooper Richards, the ninth grader who wears zero for South. He's the brother of Carter Richards. Connor Patty remains in as well. Meanwhile, North will go back to their bench and make a couple moves. They'll return Leo Peretti back to the lineup. There you get a look at the second year head coach, Rob Johnson. South has been on a run. 21 to nine, they trailed four to nothing. It's been a 17 to five run with just under two minutes to go in the opening quarter. Line right, the 90% free throw shooter from a year ago, Carter Richards, and yeah, if you believe in the broadcaster jinx, mm -hmm. that's fine, mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> Very good, a good look at Carter, all six, two of them. Guy that kind of accepted that back seat last year to Anthony Bernard in the backcourt, and how about that, missed them both. But he's a guy that's the guy this year, and he's embraced it early on. Yeah, I'm sure he looked forward and you know enjoyed every minute of playing with Anthony by his side. But part of you probably wanted to really ready for this season, you know, where it's your show, you got the keys, yeah, um, and doing a great job so far. Head with it, goes left point for Leo Peretti, the junior guard, and he turns it over. The turnovers tonight, that's now eight of them. Corner three, Cooper, no. Freshman not shy. North's gotta find a way here to flip some momentum and get this crowd back in the game. Turnover again, Carter Richards ahead. And it pops out, he's fouled by head. And the iron on this side has been unkind <laughs> to Mr. Richards the last few shots. That, that rim's probably tighter. You always make the away team start on the tighter side. That is the third foul of the ball game for head. And Richards gets the fall, but not without it touching every part of the tip. North will return to the lineup as you get a replay of the foul on head. Benjamin Dragic will check in for North. Along with Vasilios Vasilos. And now South will return Vashan in favor of Carter Richards for a blow with just a minute six left in the quarter. Yeah, good move here. Reuben McBride Williams running the show with Peretti on the bench. Backdoor cut here, lay in too firm. Torrey on the run. Vashon from deep. Splash City. God, you come into this game and you're worried about Torrey James on the outside. You're worried about Carter Richards and Vince Vashon with two threes in the first quarter. One of the captains. But the quick answer the other way by Vasilos. They call him V. Coach Johnson said V's a sniper off the bench. It's always good to have one of those. Answers the three-pointer right back for North. 15 seconds left in this quarter. It's a 14-point lead for the road team. And that is a turnover forced by North. And now the run out and the lay-in by Vasilos. No! They wanted a goaltend. Two seconds, one second, James at the buzzer, in and out. And the juice in the gym is up. We've had a fun first quarter. What a ride it was. That's a big momentum swing. I don't know, I think we might have had a goal 10 there. They don't get it. North's gotta find a way to flip this. We'll get a look at that goal 10 potentially in a moment. We'll step aside, south 26, north 12, as we go to the second quarter.
every high school sporting event in the state of Michigan has one thing in common, officials. Every game, every meet, every match. Without officials, there'd be no touchdowns, no three-pointers, no face-offs. Without officials, there'd be no games. Officiating is a great way to give back to your community and stay involved with the sports you love. And officials are needed now more than ever because without officials, it's just practice. Lowering the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores. Welcome back to Gross Point North in Gross Point, Michigan. Well, the Norsemen out of the Mac White, one of the stronger subdivisions, if you will, around. The red is strong, but the West, white's pretty strong too. The enrollment, just over 1,000, 2005 and 1979 regional champions. And uh, there's some college basketball folks and commits that have played on. Saw Adam Ariel, Wayne State. Back to action. He's Mac Horvath. I'm Chad Bush. South by 14, Mac. Yeah, real quiet first quarter, too, for Rocco Cardinal. They got to get him going if they're going to have a chance to hang around here, which that needs to be now. Whistling a foul, forcing the issues. Ruben McBride Williams, Mr. Kelser, called that foul. And here's another look at it. They're going to call a block on Carter Richards. And he's getting some clarity down there from Mr. Kelser. Free throws have not been the friend of many in this game. Five of 10 is south and just one of three now is north. Great play by Davey there at the end of the quarter to really keep momentum on south side hustling play. Looking back on that, that was clean. Really was. Blow by Vashon, and he lays it in. There is not enough help by North by the rim. That is about the fourth or fifth time we've had a guard take it to the rim, uncontested. Another turnover, nearing double digits already here in the first quarter. What do you think of the pressure of South and the, the defenses that Mr. Bernard's thrown out there. Right, North's just got to get a little more patient and they got to make some easy passes. They're making things so difficult on themselves by just where their space, their guards up top. You got to be behind that defender and make things easy on yourself and they're just not doing it. They're making one pass and they want to throw it up. Mm. Short corner right, Richards leaner no. Richards finished the first quarter with uh, a team high 10 points. Three ball right side, Cardinal Rocco from distance. And that's what North needs more of. More of. They got to get him going. Him and Peretti got to get going here uh, to hang around in the second quarter. Five points now for Rocco in this game. Six and a half left until halftime. Right point. This is uh, Gordon Hudson Nelson. Can you trust a guy with three first names? <laughs> I think I could. Carter Richards weaving his way, and he'll draw the blocking foul, but that's going to go on Rocco, the aforementioned. And that's going to send Richards back to the line, a place he's been often tonight. Yeah, good take here. You see Richards right here at the end, landing on two and playing off two feet. Mm. That is a unused skill by so many high school players. And that's why the reason he gets fouled so much. You can land on two, you can use ball fakes, you can easily twist and turn your body, you can absorb contact better. It's a great skill to have. Adam Zarnick checks out, multi-sport guy for South with some good minutes. Returning is Torrey James Jr. South will play in a district that's comprised of Gross Point North, King, Cass, and Detroit Western. Three ball, no, loose ball, and a save, yes, and out of bounds. Everything's hard right now for North. South's making it that way. South's doing a great, you know, they, they talked about North, they wanted to be the grittier team. I mean, South, I think they're outworking them right now. Yep. It is a shorter bench for South than they're used to. 
Torrey with a floater up for Davey. Good active hands, but Vachon says I can do the same. North will keep it, though, out of bounds. Good hustle both ways. Davey's got to give him the point up there. You got to get that ball up to the big fella. 6'7". That's a long 6'7", he is, too, it looks like. Yeah. 1-3-1 one, one zone. It's a, good, it's a right guy to have at the top of a 1-3-1, huh? Good recognition, partner. Richards with a pick. Will he throw it up for Davey behind him? Won't have a chance. Leo stole the show. Yeah, their defense is so far. Davey's been up top of the 1-3-1. Davey's been on top of the 1-2-2. And that's exactly what you want. You want to have to throw it over the big guy. If you're north, you got to go at him so you can pass around him, not those slow passes because those are easily picked off as we just saw. Mm-hmm. Vashon bricks one. Leo gets his pocket pick. Richard says, I'm going to try that again. Weaves his way back to Vashon, who left it short. And Leo back there being a pest again. Freddie's got to watch himself, too. He's got two fouls already. He got picked there and started hammering away at Carter. You don't want him to pick up his third. Dragic with a miss. Vashon will reset this offense with five minutes left. And South leading by two touchdowns at North. Depth can definitely be a factor, especially early in the year. These kids are still trying to get their legs. Richards, Gino Beely pass to James. Step back three, splash city. Good play call by Coach Bernard, setting the hammer screen to the outside. One-handed pass by Carter. That's a college level pass. Mm. Sure was. College level shot too by James. Finish, power layup, good. Strong play by Double B, Brady Beers at 6'5", the senior. North needed something easy. Mm -hmm. Richards rocks it. Two-timed and fouled by the man on the floor, and that's Rocco Cardinal, and I think that's Rocco's third. Jamo will tell us officially in a moment. Another look at the corner three. Torrey James here, that's the guy you want to get open, get going. He's been somewhat quiet tonight, but still early. Cooper going to try his hand at a three, no. James keeps it alive, and Richards finishes the assignment. Near Richard, steal. Richard's just all over the place tonight. Well, Steve Bernard says he does it all. Cardinal committed to Wayne State to play some baseball, but that's Benjamin Dragic that finishes the three. Much needed 14-point game again. North hanging around striking distance here. If they can handle the pressure, cut down on the turnovers, and not leave open threes like that, they got a chance to get back in it. Number 20 is one of the top shooters in the state. And he had time and space, and that was a mistake. What a showing for James in his first three games. Had 17 points against Loyola, 15 against Warren Lincoln, one of the top teams in Division II. Impressive so far. Yeah, his range is impressive too. He's not somebody that you know spends all of his shots, you know, a foot or two behind the line. There's some deep boys. Uh, I like that last one. 15 for James. There you see Leo drawing the foul. That will go on Gordon Hudson Nelson. Coach Johnson talked about their depth. You know, he said they had 11 guys play against Stevenson in the first game. Eight guys scored. So as far as the depth goes, if, if South loses their legs, the advantage should be to North. Should be. Back cut, Carter Richards. And that is out of bounds. Carter saves it and will reset this offense. A, a free-flowing offense, a lot of movement. They love to get pressed, though. I mean, this is a team that really just salivates when they are going to get pressed. North hasn't had a lot of opportunities in this game no. to press, have they? No, not a lot of opportunities when you're getting when you're the one getting pressed and hitting pressure put on you, causing the turnovers. We got a timeout here by South. 
We will keep it here. South takes the timeout to reset. We want to welcome our friends on Caffeine TV. Appreciate Caffeine TV, new partner, new network, and affiliate. Welcome to our friends on Caffeine TV. We're the prep. He's Matt Horvath. My name's Chad Bush. Alex Westfall, your executive producer. What do you do now down uh, by 16, 251 left in your own gym if you're north right now? I mean, it's one possession at a time. You got to find a way to chip away. You got to make a small goal. Like if I'm talking in that timeout right there, I want to, hey, let's go in the half. Let's, let's make it 10. Let's make it 10 at the half. Well, a chance here with a stop. R.J. Williams with a big boy rebound, outlet, and the layup and the foul. That's Ryan Henderson who got hammered, and Hendo will go line left and shoot two. Looks like that might be two on James here, and I think it is, and here comes Vince Vachon back into the game. James is trying to swap that thing into center line. Henderson free throw up good. Wholesale changes for South. They'll return to the lineup. The center, Nate Davey at 6-7. Vashon returns and also Cooper Richards. Davey's been the key at the top of that press tonight, using his length, allowing the wings to shine like Richards and James coming up with a lot of steals. Nice flare screen to the little brother. Oh, the freshman. Get one from distance. How about it? Cooper Richards, the freshman at 5'7", sticks one. 17-point lead. And Bernard and Steve Bernard wants that pressure and it's another steal. Henderson from the corner. Splash City. Henderson with a quick five. Where's he been? North with another answer on the other end. They need to get a stop down here, though, on the defensive side. Two minutes. Richards with a game high 15 points, excuse me, 12 points. James with a game high 15. But this is Davey who gets it in. Great set by South there. North gained a little momentum. You run a play to get yourself an easy deuce. Henderson, no. Williams stick back, no. Got his own miss and kicks it out. Three ball, splash, City. That's Dragic from R.J. Williams, who deserves the hockey assist there. North staying hot, sticking around, sticking around, but you gotta get stops. 43 to 30, a buck 15 left. South on the road with a comfortable lead. The point man Richards to the right to Vashon, one of the three guards that'll Run the show. South going ball screen offense here, waiting for just that right there. North to take a chance. And Got one. It. And the foul. Carter Richards stuck with it. And finishes in style. South doing a great job under their ball screen offense to delay a little time. And if North wants to take a chance, Richards takes advantage, takes it to the rim, gets his own board. Put back, foul. Going to the line. Just that instinct to find that ball and finish it. If you're going to take a chance on a steal, you can't be the one that's guarding Richards and miss. Yeah. That's right. Foul in the backcourt. South nearly had another Mac. Yep, another pressure again. Entered into the corner, and they're just getting stuck in there. Not many options. 48 seconds left. South will go to their bench. Adam Zarnick returns. They'll take James out to prevent any fouls. Two fouls in this game for James. Peretti attacks, floats and misses. He's been quiet since the start. Richards to the 10, got it. South's chasing a 50 burger in the first half here. Man. And is an offense that can really heat up. A lot of free flowing, aggressive, can shoot the three. Steal here, three on two the other way. Richards to the rack, layup, good. And there it is. 
The offense is great, but a lot of these points are coming from the defensive side. South's largest lead of the game, a cool 20. Three seconds left. Leo from the top at the buzzer. Banker, no. And it's a road show for Gross Point South. They're up 20 at North. North led early, four to nothing. But South's been in control, Mac, pretty much since the onset. Yeah, and they've heated up from the outside. Mashon, James, Richards, all of Little Richards knocking one down. Uh, it, North's got to go, and we got to draw something up here, and they got to figure out that press if they're going to have a chance here in the second half. Highlight stats, much, much more coming up from Gross Point, Michigan, and North High School, south of control at the break. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching. We're the prep. From an ordinary idea comes a great journey. It all starts with a simple thought, a vision of something bigger, greater, than what already exists. It's that spark that ignites the passion and drive to create something truly amazing. At G-Brand, we understand this journey well. We take pride in the details in perfecting every aspect of the process, regardless of how small or big they may be. Because it's more than just a design or a shirt. It's about outfitting future champions. There's something to be said about a team coming together each member contributing their unique skills, talents, and ideas. It's that collective effort that takes a simple idea and turns it into something truly great. The process can be excruciating, with countless hours spent tirelessly reviewing every detail. But the end result is pure and so rewarding, knowing that we've created something that will inspire greatness in those who wear it. Whether they come from a savage land or a booming metropolis. Whether their numbers are two or two billion, the greatest their numbers could ever become is truly to become one. That's why at G-Brand, we're more than just a clothing company. We're a movement, a community of like-minded individuals who believe in the power of coming together to make a difference. So join us on this journey as we strive to outfit future champions and inspire greatness in all that we do. G brand. Now that's game. As the voice of Michigan's student athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports should be played. We are responsible for helping the MHSAA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere in which interest classic athletes can thrive. We believe that athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe that students in the stands should have fun, but not take away the focus from the game. We believe coaches should act like teachers, helping student athletes develop while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models and support their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports, and respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports while keeping a high level of respect between all those involved in the games. Enjoy the, Enjoy the, game. the game. Hi folks, Dr. Joe here with Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. We all know that our wives and daughters deserve special attention, but that's especially true when it comes to their knees. Do you know that females are at a two to five times risk compared to their male counterparts when it comes to blowing out their knees? It doesn't seem fair, but it's true. The reasons include the way females are made and the way they fire their muscles. But fortunately, there are injury prevention programs out there that can greatly decrease this risk of injury. And if you do know a female who blows out her ACL, don't despair. We have neat, innovative, minimally invasive ways to fix their knees and get them back onto the field. For more information, go to miorthosurgeons.com. We are the MHSAA, a collection of 750 high schools and 750 middle schools. From Temperance to Copper Harbor, from New Buffalo to Alpena, each year more than a quarter of a million students play one of our 28 sports. More than one and a half million fans attend our postseason games. There are 30,000 coaches and 8,000 officials, not to mention all of the volunteers. 
The MHSAA believes in the four S's. School sports should be safe and kept in the appropriate scope. We believe nothing beats great sportsmanship and that scholarship in the classroom is more important than excellence on the field or court. Most of all, we believe school sports should be fun. So come out and join us at a game. Support your school, support your community, and come see what the excitement is all about. Does your bank make you feel like you belong there? At Alliance Catholic Credit Union, you are a member of a financial institution that serves the Catholic community, providing you with an opportunity to align your banking with your Catholic identity. You receive all the products and services you need to manage your money, and your membership helps support Catholic schools, parishes, and organizations. It's time to put your money where your faith is. Visit AllianceCatholic.com to get started today. Service. Community. Catholic. Alliance Catholic Credit Union. Federally insured by the NCUA. My dad and my grandfather are officials. I've grown up around officials and seeing how much they enjoy being part of the games. As a student athlete, I've always appreciated the people out there who are willing to give back to the kids. The Legacy program lets me officiate while I'm still in high school, working younger kids' games. Officiating gives me a better understanding of the game, I get to make some pretty good money for a high school kid, and I even get to spend some quality time with my dad. There's help wanted, just whistle. Lowering the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores! today's changing real estate and mortgage lending world, the importance of a true professional has never been higher at Success Mortgage Partners. Our mission is for every borrower to receive level 10 service, and our goal is to get you the lowest rate possible. We want you to have an experience of a lifetime navigating a turbulent market like this. It needs to be handled by a real professional. Call Todd Barr at 734-674-6154 and put 20 years of local knowledge to use for you and your family. Success Mortgage Partners Incorporated supports equal housing opportunity and MLS ID number 130562. This is informational only and is not an offer of credit or commitment to lend. Contact Success Mortgage Partners to learn more about your eligibility for its mortgage products. Chad Bush alongside Matt Horvath. Welcome back to Halftime. 20-point lead for Gross Point South. Mac. what do we know after uh, the first half of play? South's pressure has been the difference tonight. That's been applying pressure to North here, creating turnovers. North off to a good start with the Peretti layups like we saw here, but after that, it was just all South and their pressure and a lot of Carter Richards around the rim and a lot of those guards from the outside. All in all, it was a high score in Carter Richards, 19 points. Really did a lot of things from all around. Vashon chipped in, he had 10. One of the captains, you see Richards doing his thing there. And uh, also we were introduced to Mr. Torrey James Jr. Who you see there tripling and passing a good find to Richards. Yeah, the South shot selection's been fantastic. A lot of shots on the outside and a lot of lifts. They're doing a great job of sharing the ball. Everybody's involved, the bench guys. You know, the ball isn't just sticking in one person's hands. It's really moving side to side, and they're playing great team basketball. For North, the long ball has been the friend for them. A pretty good percent, five and nine in this game, led by uh, Dragic off the bench, who has a couple. Leo Peretti, since the beginning, has been a little bit uh, shut down. Yeah, yeah, it's been tougher to get him going. South's really been sticky with him all night. And really, North hasn't gotten many easy looks besides the couple times they did break the press. Other than that, they've really had to work for everything they've got. So, a big lead on the road for South, and uh, we'll see if North can bounce back. You see Richards doing work. 
Also a lot of work on the glass. And uh, South taking advantage of those turnovers. Big key to that first half as we get set to play. If you're South, how do you handle a big lead like this? Uh, they played Loyola pretty comfortably, but it was tight for most of it. Uh, you know, a tight one against Warren Lincoln. How do they respond against uh, with a big lead? What do you tell them as a coach? You don't want to take your foot off the gas for sure, but you got to be ready for the pressure that North's going to throw at you. North throws pressure at you, and you can break and handle that. I mean, that's pretty much ball game. We'll see how North adjusts to that pressure. Peretti with a quick test, and we get a quick time out by second-year head coach Rob Johnson. We'll keep it right here. Just like, just like you saw there, South keeping up the pressure, not relenting whatsoever, sticking with what got him to this point. North still having a little trouble with it. You wouldn't think it, but North sat, shat, shot 50% in the first half. Uh, South shoots 56%. I guess the opportunities, though, were quite a bit more in favor of South with 12 more shots due to the turnovers. Correct, correct. 12 more shots and five more from the line. I mean, that's just going to be tough to overcome when you're getting outshot by that many. Out of the timeout, North will set up this offense against a defense that South will mix up quite a bit. Fouled going up. Attacking, though, is Brady Beers, the big man who has a couple points already tonight. Good take with the left here. Looks like they were trying to set up Cardinal for a backdoor on the outside. Brady with a strong take. Oh, the South road crew trying to cause some havoc. Free throw up and good. North from the free throw line, five of eight in the first half. This is Brady Beers, three-sport athlete, kind of your prototypical big man, but he's a big part of this team and a senior. And he gets a couple free throws there. Vashonda James. James was effective from distance in the first half. Three of six from downtown was Torrey James. Vashon two of four. Carter Richards, no three-pointers. No look pass as well to the cutting Davey with an easy lay-in. Great cut by Davey, improvising there. Richards kind of stuck with it at the free throw line in an awkward area. Great cut, good find. Head with a low pass, fine catch by McBride Williams. He'll attack 10 and lay it in off the bounce against Davey. Hasn't been many times tonight where North's been able to get to the rim that easily. South's done a good job with their help side defense, but right there, little lax, and the finish by McBride Williams. Davey to Vashon. Closed down quickly by Peretti. South is led by as many as 20. Pull up Richards, three in front of his own bench. When you're going to college to play basketball, that's the only time you can take that shot right there. <laughs> that was deep. His first of the night, he has 22. Attack and a block. It'll go on the big man, Gordon Hudson Nelson. Free throws coming up for the aggressive North offense. Brady Beers again, line right. Yep, very similar, catching it going in the middle there, going using his left hand to get to the rim. Gordon Hudson Nelson with the effort to try to take the charge. Little late, little awkward. Didn't give it to him. South will go to the bench. This is Connor Patty, who we saw in the first quarter. Davey has to exit in this game. Davey uh, collects just his first foul, but needs a blow and needs a talking to from his head coach, Steve Bernard. Meanwhile, we've got a jump ball, and this is going to go back to South. Thanks to the Tory James. Quick hands. Torrey James Jr. across the timeline. A lot of screens, a lot of movement out of South. 
Again, good execution on offense most of the night. This is one of their longer sets. Richards trying to end it again with a splash city, and he does it. A dagger for the senior headed to Lake State. Unnoticed, I mean, both of those threes are off the bounce. Again, that's that's not the, as high a percentage as the catch and shoot variety. No matter to Richards. 25 for Richards and a charge for North. A tough take there for the big man. Back to the Richards three, Mac. Defender goes under, head gets stuck on the ball screen, going under the screen, which opens up some room for Richards, which that's all he needs right there. Got to give a shot to Connor Patty taking that charge on the other end. Richards again, get Come out on. of here. Come on. Oh, Carter, 28 points, three triples right in the eye of the Norseman. That was the heat check three, too. You know, normally you don't knock the heat check three down, but tonight you will. Another one out of nowhere. It's a quick release. Man, for Richards, here's another look. Man. I mean, if you're Devin Head, you're looking at your bench, going, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do there? Mm. Beers in the paint, and he cans it from 10. Peretti getting aggressive. Vashon loses him. Paint, runner, got it. Twenty-seven point lead. This thing has really blossomed south, trying to show out in front of this community in a rivalry game. James on the run. He's trying to get loose for his first points of the second half. It's been the Richard show. So you want to see if your coach Bernard, your team out there playing loose, playing fast, playing aggressive. Three ball off the mark for Patty. And the fire ahead is turned over. Another turnover for North. It's been kind of the story of the night that the turnovers. Richards with 25 points. Excuse me, 28 points in this game. Nine of them right here in this quarter. All daggers back to back to back on consecutive possessions. He'll have a chance here to heat check. Well, maybe he won't. North with a steal. Aggressive. Good hands by Rocco. Three ball. Dead spot left. No serve. A shot with the board. Vashon finds Richards again. Yes! Oh, 31 for Carter Richards! Still got 12 minutes to go here. Oh, man. 66 to 36, another Richards rifle from deep. Mm -mm -mm. Another look at the run out, and Vashon knows what to do with it. You got to find him in transition. Vashon fading left with the left hand. That's a great pass on the money. It really is. Vashon, who played varsity as a freshman. I mean, he's got the skill. The freshman Cooper Richards returns number zero. Also into the game is uh, Adam Zarnick, the 11th grader. Henderson returns as well. Brent Benjamin Dragic. And uh, the lay-in good for Rocco Cardinal, who's been pretty good for North, maybe their best complete player tonight. Top score was seven. Zarnik around the horn to Michelotti, who's checked in. The freshman getting fancy, running that baseline. Gino Beely, tough catch for Zarnik, gives it up. Big boy three, Davey, no. Out of bounds, South will give it up to North on a 50-50 call. South with great offensive execution. Again, ball going side to side. It is very difficult to defend that at the high school level. I mean, the ball went from one side to the other five, six times in that possession. That's a challenge for any high school team. Mm. 
you just got to react, right? I mean, guys, are, it's hard to. Your help side's constantly changing. You need to have all five guys head on a swivel. Another three by Richards. Little bro's got his back. <laughs> Cooper resets, and Stephen Arts has set it up. Stephen Arts says, look, Cooper's more of a true point guard. We'll see what he does here. Look at that. Get out of here. Oh. And that is what Mr. Beer says. He won't be intimidated, though. Cooper will keep taking it to the rag. It was a great move to get there. Sure was. Here's another look at it here. Nice spin move. Beers is not in my gym. <laughs> RJ Williams returns. Also into the game for the first time is Dalen Doe. What up, Doe? Off the mark, no. And that will be reset out of bounds, baseline left. Carter's got to be feeling sick. That's two misses in a row. <laughs> Something's wrong. Richards, 31 points tonight. And from distance, he's done a lot of damage. Four of seven, says Jamo. Dragic, who's had a couple of long ones. Back out to Henderson. McBride Williams attacks and gets stripped by the ninth grader who's fouled at midcourt. Cooper showing the flashes here. Going to be a nice player for South for the next four years. Great strip there. Cooper across the timeline. Working against V. James corner attack. And Michelotti get it rejected by RJ. North Shore in the size down low. Back to back blocks. Look at the left. Clean lefty. This kid can get up. You see how quick that size? Man, hit him on the football field. Yeah. D end? Uh, yeah, left tackle. Hello. Look at those feet. Davey dribbles, but he's too quick with it. A rare turnover in the second half for South. That's that three tech. Three tech probably. Could be. Yeah. Could be. I'd take him there. Uh -huh. <laughs> All kinds of things. It's funny, you know, always want to place a, a basketball guy on a football. Thing. I do, anyway. Three ball, back iron, no. Davey with a run out. He can handle the rock. He's on the run. Attacks the 10. RJ wants to eat again. And he swats it with a foul. Good hustle. Yeah, great hustle here. Davey and Prennett, they're impressive. Taking it through. Give it the double block. The left, <laughs> right. It's like hitting the speed bag. Yes, yes. Good call. Davey knocks it home south tonight from the free throw line. Not bad. 64%. Knocks them both home here to make it a clean 30 point lead. Under a minute, third quarter. Rip, drive, Dragic blocked. But fouled by Adam Zarnick. You know, this is a spot still for North. You, you want to be a gritty team. You want to be a tough team. It starts with just being competitive. You know, in a rivalry game like this, they still got obviously a lot to play for this year. We're still crazy early in the year. And you want to see your team go out and compete, even no matter the scoreboard, what it says right now. That's what Coach Johnson's going to be looking for. There you see Coach Johnson with Eric Eplin and Dave Rickerman. Miss free throw, 45 seconds left. We stayed a 30 point south lead on the road. They trailed 4 0, but they've been in control pretty much ever since. Top side, Connor Patty. Left side, Zarek, and RJ got him again. Wow. That backboard's still rocking. Dish down low, saved by Caleb Eckert, who's checked in. 
And RJ's all the rage. Give me more RJ. Got more, the 11th grader. Look at the, oh, the speed and size. He wears that 54. I'm just seeing tractor trailer. That's all I'm seeing. <laughs> oh. Feed him. You see a lot through maize and blue colors, don't you? Yeah, I wear the glasses constantly. How about those Wolverines? I heard you were down in Indianapolis with them. Yep, yep. It was a good time. It was a good time trying to find my way out to Pasadena in a few weeks. Oh, is that right? Why not? See the replay there of Williams earning his right to the free throw line. Yeah, what a year. Glad you were able to celebrate it with him. Might want to tell Mr. Harbaugh about this guy. I'd love to. Free throw no good though for RJ. It's been a struggle at the stripe for North tonight. Actually both teams a little bit off. Seems like the national free throw percentage continues to drop every year. Zarnik for three. Splash City. Adam Zarnik at the buzzer on a night when so much is going right for the boys from South. Finding them in transition, feeding them. The bench was geeked for this three to go down to end the quarter. South just having a night. The Zarnik Zinger at the end of three. We're the prep. Thanks for watching. Full court prep opening night from Gross Point, Michigan. Glad you're with us. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! Yeah. <laughs>Ah, uh, yes, the Blue Devils out of the MAC Red. About 1,200 students. Won the MAC title last year, the MAC Red. Also won the district. First time in 30 years. Regional finalist before falling to De La Salle. North basketball MAC to start the fourth. And a steal fittingly as we begin the final quarter of play. Get a look here at the future here for South with Cooper Richards going to be running the point the whole the whole time here in the fourth. You'd expect three, no. Offensive reset, yes. Luca Parla Jelly is checked in. The bench really wanted Patty to pull that one. <laughs> Ooh, behind the back, Patty with the attack and the foul on R.J. Williams. See, RJ tried to make the basketball play there rather than the athletic play. Just wall him up here. Look at this, no looker. No look behind the back. RJ makes a smart smart basketball play to wall him up, but use the athleticism. Get off your feet, toss it. That's what we want to see. Free throw up and no good for Connor Patty. 10 of 16 from the stripe tonight is south. Count it. 31 points tonight for Carter Richards to South. He's been the story. Four of uh, seven from downtown. 15 for Torrey James all in the first half. And a three ball with that's Williams through. With left. Or excuse me, uh, left-handed layups up and through. You look down for a second and your vision gets a little blurry. My bad. I thought we were going to get another behind the back left-handed pass there. Foul on the perimeter. Yeah, how about that left-handed behind the back pass? This Cooper kid's going to be a player. Going to be a player. Mm. And that's a boo-boo by the freshman. Over and back, Steve Bernard says, wait a minute. He started in the backcourt. Bernard assisted by Nate Swarzy, Rob Crandall Jr., Zane Draper, and Daniel Allen.
In the post, double teamed, shot up, no good. Dalen Doe line right to shoot two. So Steve Bernard gonna go to his bench a couple more times here. And he will return Adam Zarnick to the lineup. Richards out. Connor Patty will rest. He's got to talk to him about that over and back. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening. Free throws are good. Backcourt pressure now for North. Zarnick ahead, three on two. They break the press. Layup, no. James Michelotti was fouled. He'll go line left and shoot two free throws. And he'll get a chance to scratch the surface tonight. Good attack down the avenue. Reach in by Daquan Howell, the junior. Free throw up and good for James Michelotti, the 5'11 junior. 73-43, 617 left. North just at this point, you're obviously down big. What are you trying to accomplish if you're North? You want to see your kids still playing hard. You want to reward some kids that might not have be getting the most minutes the rest of the season. Give them an opportunity to shine in front of this great crowd we got here tonight. It is a great crowd, and uh, the energy's Still, despite the score, been pretty consistent. Press broken, corner three, Caleb Eckert no. And North gets a stop. And Dimitri Vasilos, one of the Vasilos brothers, twins, into the ball game now. It's cool to play with your twin. It's, got, would, it's gotta be. Yeah, it would be cool. Want to be my twin tonight? <laughs> we got six minutes left. Don't look at me like that, Schwarzenegger. I would love to have your hair. Oh, wait. Well, who says anything about the hair? I'd shave my head for you. <laughs> I'm with you. Benjamin Rickerman, top side, triple, no. And Zarnick with a big boy rebound. I thought we were going to have a chance tonight. I thought Carter was going to push it last night. Jonathan Sanderson from Celine dropped 51 on Canton. I heard that he had a 50-ish burger. And I thought Carter was going to make a run at this thing tonight. Well, Steve Bernard's got too much class for that. Although you wouldn't judge him if he returned him. It's early in the year. You guys want to, you know, you want to get guys work, right? I don't know. You're the former coach, not me. Yeah, no, he's making the right move. He's making the right move. The way, the way Carter played tonight, he'll have more chances at it. Running layup, Greg Fannin just misses off the mark. And here comes Jerome Jones, the senior guard. Pull up, 18-footer. Ben Rickerman off the mark, whistle down low. And uh, there's Steve Bernard in his fifth year. He's done some great things at this school. Bernard, a guy that took this team to Great pastures last year. Hadn't happened in 30 years, a district title. 89 district champs, regional finalist. He was a team captain his senior year, Romeo High School. But um, he's a guy that had a nice career himself. He's taken the show on the road. He's had, uh, he's coached football, coached basketball. But he's a guy that's uh, really I know Sal's happy to have, and we enjoy talking with Steve Bernard. We appreciate him having us here tonight. He does a great job. Got his son down there playing at Mercer as a freshman, getting a lot of run. It's always good to see. Anthony, yeah, he's, he's special. He was fun to watch last year. Got a bright future down there in Macon, Georgia, at Division I Mercer. Big shoes to fill. Gross Point South without him and without Mr. English without Sires, and they've showed up just fine tonight. Yeah, they got the pieces still. The pieces are still there. Adding Tory James, a nice piece. Vashon seems like he's really come a long way as well. It's a program now, right? 
Yep, yep. Travel. And a program is what Rob Johnson's trying to build in his second year. A guy who was the JV coach prior to his appointment as the head coach. Got his team to play some tough competition this summer. Felt it helped them. They play in the white, which is a strong conference. Warren Lincoln, Warren Mott, Eisenhower, New Haven. It's a strong Mac White. Very tough, very tough. Tough league, you know, they got the goal that they want to make it to the Mac tourney. They got to finish the top four in that division. It's a strong goal. Yep. Howell with a steal. Rickerman missed the lay-in. And South's going to regain this with just under four minutes to go. Henderson will return for the Norsemen. Rickerman gets a rest. Talk about that, what Coach Bernard has built as far as a program. It's really, you see it on the bench, it's the culture. Kids are just having fun. Everybody's sharing the ball. I mean, look at that, it's three stake and the entire bench is standing up. Yeah, they're connected. Henderson with a hustle play, and who knows what's happening down there. Ball out of bounds back to the Norseman. South still kept that schedule nice and tough this year. UAD, Adams, Notre Dame prep. How about that triple? That's Dimitri Vasilos. In front of his own bench with a banger. Yeah, South plays tough competition. You're right about that. Steve Bernard doesn't shy away from anybody. And when you've got players like he's got, it makes it a little bit easier, right? Yeah. Another triple try for V. No, but a quick handed rebound by Howell who lays it in. Nice play by Daquan. Cooper Richards, the freshman, sets this offense up. There's a lot of nice 11th grade pieces that North has and a lot of things that Coach Johnson here can build on the rest of the year and then obviously have with him to build that program like we talked about Coach Bernard being able to do at South. Yeah, and it's helped too that he's come through the program with the JV, some of these kids he's worked with at the JV level, right? Yep, yep. Build that bond, that relationship. Henderson with a steal. Substitutions on the floor. Vasilos, Vasilos checks in. To join his twin on the court. Howell with it, point right. Working it against Zarnik. V to Henderson. Kick. Howell. Three, no. Stick back, and North, pesky oh. enough, can't finish it though. Lit on that thing, that set. The boards. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Howell with the steal. Craig Fanning going for the highlight pass there. Howell, pass down low, short corner right. And V will knock it out of bounds. That will go back to the Blue Devils. There you see the head coach of Gross Point North, Rob Johnson. Played for Chris Shepard back in his college days. High school days. High school days, of. yeah. Coach Shep down at Henry Ford doing a great job building a huge program over there. Off the bounce, Eckert could get it. Here comes Howell with under a minute to go. We'll have our G of the game after this one. Pull up, 19 footer, got it. They'll call it a three. That's actually a three from Ryan Henderson. He's had a fine night. Give him seven.
Perhaps the final offensive run of the night for South. South's got a good team. Going to be playing against, like we talked about, that high-level competition, really be able to challenge themselves and see where they're at. Zarnick will dribble it out with five seconds left. And this ball game is over. So South answers the road questions against a rival and pull away tonight, winning 73 to 52 on the road. And there you see our G of the game, Carter Richards, 31 points and he didn't play the fourth quarter. And a happy head coach in Steve Bernard. Post game show rolling on from Gross Point. The G of the game is next. We're the prep. Thanks for watching, don't go anywhere. the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores! And uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. I mean, they're a really talented football team. I think everybody knows that. Four wide receivers. Pressure steps up. Marshall wants to run again. Cuts down the middle of the field. All alone. Touchdown! Warriors! What a cut. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Every high school sporting event in the state of Michigan has one thing in common, officials. Every game, every meet, every match. Without officials, there'd be no touchdowns, no three-pointers, no face-offs. Without officials, there'd be no games. Officiating is a great way to give back to your community and stay involved with the sports you love. And officials are needed now more than ever because without officials, it's just practice. the shoulder. Swing and a miss. McGinley scores! And uh, it's going to be a challenge for us. I mean, they're a really talented football team. I think everybody knows that. Four wide receivers. Pressure steps up. Marshall wants to run again. Cuts down the middle of the field. All alone. Touchdown! Warriors! What a cut. Welcome back to Gross Point North High School. South wins it in a big way tonight, 73 to 52. And they did so behind the uh, big commitment from Lake Superior State, his 31 points. And a quick nine in that third quarter clinched this ball game. Carter Richards, senior from Gross Point South, our G of the game. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, what a, what a way to start this senior campaign for you. Yep. I know... Last year, you know, you had other guys ahead of you. You're an underclassman. Not until you're taking a backseat to them, but it's a different role for you this yeah. year, right? Talk about that. I mean, just knowing last year how um, this year I was going to be, like, the main guy, the leader, so I just had to prepare for that last year. And then when the time uh, stepped up, I, I showed it, you know. The three-point shot, yep. it's part of your game. Yep. It's not all your game. Uh, we see some of the highlights here. Torrey James Jr., a new addition. Uh, he opened up some looks for you yep. for sure, but you had confidence stroking that yeah. thing. Talk yep. about your confidence in shooting and maybe an improvement from a season ago. I mean, uh, just starting the game, I missed a couple shots, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I mean, shooter's going to keep shooting. So, And then just confidence from last year, I just had to carry that over. You know, just keep shooting just like my guy Anthony Bernard. He just kept shooting, so. Yeah. How is this team different from last year's team early on? I know it's just three games, but what have you noticed um, early on, I, I think we're just, I think that since we graduated a lot of senior, six, seven senior, I think we just needed to put in more just in the off season and then just now. Yeah. yeah. Looking ahead, 
and this team, you're in a tough district. Yep. You're in a tough league, a league you won last year, and a district you won last year. Yeah. Uh, what do you see as the outlook of this team and the ultimate potential? Um, for the outlook, I just think we just got to go out there and compete every day, just one game at a time, just not look ahead. But um, I definitely think we're going to compete for the district and uh, league again, though. You've got your little brother on yep. your team. Yep, it's awesome. How cool awesome. is that? He's a freshman. You're yep. a senior. That's a neat combination to awesome. have. Awesome. I love it. Yeah. Your father also coaches. You come from a family yep. of coaches. What's it like playing uh, not for your dad, but yeah. as he's the girls' head coach? I mean, growing up, I was always at his practices, games, and I just, I just thought like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be there one day. And then the day is finally here. So now it's awesome to see Cooper and my young, uh, my younger siblings live that uh, thing as well. Well, you're doing great, young man. Yep. Congratulations. You're our G of the game. Show that T-shirt. Look at it. Carter Richards, 31 points tonight. He was hot from distance, and uh, he leads South to a victory. Best of luck the rest of the year. We'll catch up with you. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. Carter yep. Richards, our G of the game, sponsored by G Brand USA. We'll take a quick timeout. Matt Corvath will come back. And all the stats and highlights from tonight are ahead of you on the prep, full court prep, opening up in Gross Point tonight. Thanks for hanging out. Back after this. Does your bank make you feel like you belong there? At Alliance Catholic Credit Union, you are a member of a financial institution that serves the Catholic community, providing you with an opportunity to align your banking with your Catholic identity. You receive all the products and services you need to manage your money, and your membership helps support Catholic schools, parishes, and organizations. It's time to put your money where your faith is. Visit AllianceCatholic.com to get started today. Service, community, Catholic. Alliance Catholic Credit Union. Federally insured by the NCUA. Hi folks, Dr. Joe here again with Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. Everywhere you look this time of year, people are running. And that's a great thing because running is an excellent exercise, especially for your cardiovascular and musculoskeletal systems. But the question is, are you running a safe running program? All too often, people are hobbled by things like shin splints and patellar tendonitis. But luckily, simple things like stretching and warm up, the right running shoes, and realistic weekly mileages can keep you in your running game. For more information, go to miorthosurgeons.com. Uh, yes, happy holidays. Chad Bush and Mac Horvac. Horvac. Chad Bush and Mac Horvath back with you from Gross Point North. Thanks so much. Alex Westfall, your executive producer. 7352 South by 21. Blackjack. They win it. Steve Bernard now 5-1 over his rivals. And uh, it was a convincing win for South. North had their moments. What are the outlooks for both these teams as we get a look at the highlights here? Yeah, Dave, you see where the finish does a great doing a great job replacing English, but the story was Carter in the second half just closing the door quickly with four quick threes. Uh, it was all South after that. You know, South really kind of dominated and controlled this game most of the time. They controlled the tempo. They had North playing at a really fast pace in the first half, causing a lot of turnovers, uh, shared the ball really well, led to a lot of open looks in the first half, and North was playing catch up from that point, was just never able to get back in the game. Yeah, and they did it from all different areas. Torrey James with 15 all in the first half, three of six from downtown for the West Bloomfield transfer and uh, some help as well in the scoring from Vince Vachon and some team effort. Nate Davey, the big man, with seven points, four rebounds. Uh, South shoots 42% from downtown. They get 11 threes and 26 tries. Those are good numbers. That's going to win you most games. Yeah, you'll take that almost every single night. And South's going to need it with the schedule they got coming up uh, and the district they got coming up to continue to keep this rolling throughout the year. Meanwhile, North's high score, Rocco Cardinal was with seven points. Excuse me, uh, McBride Williams with eight, Cardinal with seven, and uh, they get some help spread out along the way. R.J. Williams off the bench with five points, five rebounds, and Leo Peretti, five points in the game, four rebounds as well. But uh, South victorious tonight. Carter Richards, our G of the game, and we'll be back with you next week at a place to be determined soon. Pay attention to our 
uh, website and our social media. We've got game updates coming next week, some exciting matchups yet to be announced. Full slate here on Full Court Prep. Want to thank our friends at Caffeine TV and want to thank our friends at Gross Point South, especially Steve Bernard. Special thanks uh, to Gross Point North as well for their accommodations. Miss Michelle, we appreciate you as well. For my partner, Matt Horvath, my name's Chad Bush. Executive producer Alex Westfall and the hardworking crew at the prep. Your final score tonight from Gross Point, south over north by 21. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching. So long.